Well, thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here. And I think that uh, all of us are absolutely convinced that higher education is central to society. Um, and for centuries, uh, we have looked upon higher education institutions to create an educated citizenry and to create new discoveries. Today, we still look upon higher education institutions for discoveries, uh, for future leaders, and for benefits to society. Many governments, from Greece to Malaysia, and our own governments as well, look to uh, universities to create economic growth and jobs. In fact, I just raced over here from a session on entrepreneurship and innovation. <coughs> and I make the point that benefits to society aren't always those just reaping the financial rewards, the things we uh, take for granted in health and, and uh, clean water and such. So today, we, we often are discussing how rapidly the world is changing. And I was walking around this lovely archaeological site, and I wondered whether maybe it was changing just as rapidly in the 5th century BC, uh, because I, I think that based on wisdom from the oracle, a lot of things were happening in the education front. Uh, I'll leave it to the experts, uh, the historians, to capture that idea and, and learn from how the changes in the 5th century BC may be translated to today. Today, I'm wondering if the oracle is actually Google. I consult with her dozens of times a day, so I don't know about the rest of you. But that is my point. Che technology is changing our culture very rapidly, and I've been fascinated by uh, uh, DeepMind's AlphaGo, the machine that used reinforcement learning to be successful at winning the game of Go. Uh, which can't be done by brute force. It had to be done by learning and neural networks. Technology is changing the way we perform research. From particle physics to genomics, we can deal with massive amounts of information and make more sense of them more rapidly. It's changing the way we teach. Uh, we can uh, augment our personal interaction by calling upon technology to bring uh, people and bring, te bring examples uh, to our students online um, and, and even to teach people how to read x-rays. Technology is changing the way we learn. Different people learn in different ways, and we find when they use a technological platform, they will use it to their best advantage. And technology is certainly changing the way we communicate. I don't know about you, but my family likes to communicate over WhatsApp, and I find myself dictating into WhatsApp while I'm walking um, so that I can send it without stopping and typing. Uh, but it still serves as a phone if it, you can get anyone to use it as a phone. But my message is that I think we should embrace technology. The human-machine collaborations are going to be essential to complement our analytical uh, expense, uh, to complement what we're able to do. If we can use that analytical uh, and expansive capability that machines have to synthesize huge amounts of information and combine that with our own valuable emotional and very human qualities of judgment, empathy, and intuition, I think that we really have some magic. So I just wanted to leave you uh, with a few uh, ideas. I think that uh, in terms of Greece and for all of us, we can use technology to leapfrog and use technology to our advantage to make sure that we're advancing education and not costing too much and reaching the most uh, people and doing things more effectively. So in times of great change, uh, I think it's important to rely on some core values, and I'm going to list five of them. I think that technology can help us with each of them. The first one is that students are, that students are the most important and enduring output uh, of our universities. We have to ensure that they are able to be adaptable and also retain their own set of values. Secondly is research. It's really, it's essential that we maintain basic and fundamental uh, research that is essential for developing new ideas and new thinking. As problems get more complex, we need new ways of thinking. Thirdly, research and teaching go together, go hand in hand. There's something magical when you combine great scholars with inquisitive students, and it goes both ways. Research examples and new discoveries coming into the students, and students provoking a thought in a scholar and having them go away and come up with a new idea. 
Fourth, collaboration. Technology enables collaboration across disciplines, across borders, and across sectors. I think that Greece will benefit tremendously, as we heard before, from international collaboration, and technology will enable that. And fifth, benefiting society. We think of that all the time in our research discoveries, our advancing uh, medicine and, and our benefits to society. But I think we also have to think for the broader community, those who feel that higher education has not helped them, those who feel left behind. Uh, we're doing some work in our local community and in a, in a deprived neighborhood of London. And I think that using our own uh, community, our own uh, staff and students, to help with that effort, but bringing the community in and having them benefit from uh, educational opportunities and technology will make a huge difference in the challenges we face in society today. Thank you.